Will transgender women affect women's sports? Hmm. Hello, this is Chart GPT today. You know, there's this thing going on in uh, the culture wars about trans women now. They're going to perhaps destroy women's sports. And we kind of ask that question: Is that is that true, or is this just more transphobia, or or what? So we want to take a look at some data to see whether we can decipher something from this question. And we look at some numbers here. Here, the the actual number of athletic world records set per year has been on a decline. Uh, in any case. For, for a variety of reasons. I know that recently, of course, this only goes to 2012, but recently there's been an issue of drug enhancements, and that's kind of perked up here, which is another issue altogether. And, of course, the women's are no different. They've kind of declined as well. So that's uh, a point to be taken. We're looking at performance ratio between men and women in terms of speed. Yeah, it's around about 90%. Women do not about 90% of what a man can do, just in pure performance. Here is the performance ratio in terms of weight and it drops even further, about 80 percent of what a man can do. Some of the polling on this, uh, most people, it's, it's based on youth. Most people uh, younger seem to have a good understanding of the transgender issues. Kind of weird here that Hispanics and Latinos seem to have a higher understanding than some of the other races, which is kind of interesting point there. And of course, uh, again, so it's the youth is basically the ones that seem to know more about this issue than anything else. So here's kind of a, a recent poll. Some of here, uh, the, the strongly support and strongly opposed uh, seem to be somewhat support and strongly support kind of balance out the strongly opposed. So it's another wedgeage issue. And when you look at Democrats versus Republicans, it's very much against in Republicans and sort of and mostly against in Democrats. Independents uh, tend to kind of be even Steven there. Anyway, look at the trend. This is a recent thing, so it's hard to get trend data on this because you know nobody even thought of this ten years ago. Um, so we look at the difference between 21 and 23, and actually it's getting um, a little bit more negative. The ability to play on teams that match identity, it's actually on the decline. Teams on only teams that match birth gender, again, it's on on the decline. So people, are t you might see the trend is going against. Other polls will say differently. So that needs to be pointed out. We could point out some polls that would. Some people say those polls are biased. Some people say this poll is biased. But certainly it's not growing, but it's not shrinking. I suppose as age comes about, the youth will then dominate the polls as time goes on. So maybe eventually it will become a more or less accepted thing if the youth grow up and can maintain those views. Here's kind of a thing where, you know, it's hard to tell what a transgender is. Uh, you know, you have these various, you know, people that just identify, people that actually do hormone, and people that actually do the assignment surgery. So there's different levels of transgenderism, which is kind of a hard thing to understand. Uh, here's kind of like before or after two years of hormone therapy, uh, strength, and seems to have no advantage, but the speed is still there, probably because of the uh, kind of a mechanical ratio of bone structure. Uh, they still are faster, may you not know, have the strength. We saw that in the strength versus speed uh, uh, difference between men and women. So the, the transgender woman may actually have advantage in the speed. But you know, different. You can see here in the chart the different schools. This is one school, but there's others. Kind of say who can and who cannot compete with each other. It's getting a very complicated situation. Uh, so the question is, you know, do it affect women's sports? Well, currently there's only one percent of the U.S. Pop population self-identifies as transgender. So the odds of that many getting into the sports is probably fairly slim, so that you'll only see these kind of highlighted in the news where this transgender wins this or that. But the reality is there's not going to be that many as of today, so that's an interesting point. But, you know, the politically, there's a lot of uh, anti-trans bills uh, growing in popularity. It's just skyrocketing here in the last couple of years, so it'll be something to watch. Go to the description box and take our online poll. Do you think trans women will affect... Uh, women's sports. We asked the AI. They couldn't make a decision either. They just kind of said this and that and didn't really answer the question. What do you think? Take our online poll in the description box on the post link and don't forget to subscribe.